This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to generate curves from fiber mesh to use with IMM curve brushes? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. And the question is asking about using fiber mesh, and then after generating the fiber mesh parts on your model, coming through and assigning a curve to each of the individual fibers. And then after that curve has been assigned, applying an IMM curve brush to those curves. So with my example model here, you can see I started with a sphere and I just applied a simple fiber mesh to this. So if I come over here to the brush palette and open this up and then say select the hair groom long, you can see I can come through and I can start brushing out these fibers. So let's say I've gone through and I've sculpted my fibers using the groom brushes where I want them on my model. And now I wanna take these fibers and I wanna generate a curve from every single one. So the process I'm gonna cover is using a dummy object with micro mesh, which will then populate the individual fibers. And then we can use that object with the frame mesh option in the stroke palette to generate our curves. So the first thing we wanna do is generate our dummy object. So I'm gonna to come to the tool palette over here, and I'm just gonna click on one of these tools to open up the quick pick menu. And then in here, I wanna select the plain 3D object. Now with the plain 3D object selected, I'm just gonna frame this into my view here, and I'm gonna turn on polyframes. Then I'm gonna to go to the tool palette and go all, all the way down to the bottom to the initialize area. In here, I wanna set my H divide to three and my V divide to nine. Now with these options set here, I should end up with eight polys going vertically and two polys going horizontally. And this is gonna give me a nice seam line through the center. Now after I'm done with this, I wanna go back up to the top of the tool palette here and I wanna click this Make Poly Mesh 3D button. This is gonna take my plain 3D object and turn it into a sculptable mesh. You'll notice after I click this button, if I had polyframes active, you'll see the polygrouping color change on the model. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna assign a different polygroup color to the right side and the left side. So right now it's one polygroup across the entire plane. So I'm gonna hold down Control and Shift, which is going to give me the Select Rectangle Brush. I'm gonna click and drag to drag this out, and I wanna make sure that I engulf one full side. Now after I release this, it's only going to show the polygons that are in this area, and it's gonna hide everything else. So now I only have half of the plane visible. With half of the plane visible, I now wanna give this part of the model a new polygroup. So I'm gonna hold down Control and W on my keyboard, and this will assign a new polygroup to the visible parts of the mesh. With this completed, I can now hold down the Control and Shift key again to get back to that select rectangle brush. Now I can go to a blank spot on my canvas and click, and this will return the full visibility of the model. So now my plane here has a nice division down the middle, and it consists of two polygroups. So now I'm gonna go back to the tool palette. I'm gonna to go to my original fiber mesh subtool. Just zoom this out a little bit. And this is what we have. Now if I do a quick render using BPR to see what these fibers look like, this is the result I'm getting. So the fibers right now are being generated as these chunks of mesh topology. So what I wanna do is I wanna replace these fibers with that dummy object plane that I just created. So to do this, I'm gonna make sure I have that fiber mesh subtool selected. I'm gonna scroll down to the geometry palette and open that up. And then I'm gonna go down to the modify topology area. And in here, you'll notice there is a micro mesh button. Now, when I click this micro mesh button, it's gonna pop up that quick pick menu again. And in here, I wanna select that plain 3D object. This is the dummy object that we just created. Now, after I select this, you're gonna get another little dialog. And this is gonna tell you that you need to turn on draw micro mesh in the render palette. So I'm gonna click okay to this. And then I'm gonna go up to the render palette at the top here. I'm gonna to go to render properties and I'm gonna enable draw micro mesh. Now when I enable this button, you'll notice your model will change on the screen. And there should be these little dots that are gonna appear on every single one of the fibers. So these little dots are the vertices of that plain 3D object being projected on your mesh. And you'll see that using micro mesh, it's taken that plain 3D object and it's going to extend it down each of the individual fibers. So now if I come up to the BPR button here and click this, you'll see that the fibers have been replaced with that dummy plane object that we created. 
So you can see every single fiber has been replaced with that object. Now, some of the fibers are not visible here because this was only a single-sided plane. And currently, all the fibers in the back here have no back facing, so you're able to see through them. But you can see every single one of these fibers now has that fiber replaced with that micromesh object. So now that we have that set up, what we can do now is we can take those fibers and convert them to geometry. So I'm going to come back to the tool palette up here. I'm going to go down to the geometry area, and I'm going to click this Convert BPR to Geo. So this is going to take those fibers with that micro mesh applied, and it's now going to turn it into geometry. And this is going to give me the same result that I was seeing when I did the BPR render. So I'm just going to click this button here, and now you'll notice this is the result I get. So each of those fibers has been replaced with that dummy object I created. Now at this stage, since we converted the BPR to geometry, we can no longer use the hair groom brushes. So you want to make sure before you click the Convert BPR to Geo button that you have all your grooming done with your fibers. Now at this stage, now we just need to frame our model by polygrouping, which is going to give us a curve along each of these fibers where that polygrouping breaks up. So if I go to the Stroke Palette at the top and then go down to Curve Functions, you'll see there is this large Frame Mesh button, and beside it there are some options. So I only want the Polygroup option enabled. So I'm going to disable Border, and I'm also going to disable Creased Edge, and now I'm going to click Frame Mesh. Now when I click this button, it's going to create a curve along the polygroups of the mesh. And you'll see as I do that, I now have a curve coming off of each of these individual fibers that were replaced with that micro mesh. So now that I have this, I just want to quickly isolate all the geometry to be a new polygroup. So I'm going to hold down that Control plus W again, which is going to assign a new polygroup across the entire model. And this is just going to allow me to easily select these plane 3D objects after I draw my curve out, and then I can hide the plane object and be only left with the IMM brush. So now I just need to select an IMM brush, so I'm coming with the brush palette over here and open this up, and in here I am going to select the IMM curve brush, and I'm going to make sure that I have the scale options selected. At this stage you can use any of these IMM curves, I'm just going to make sure I have scale selected here. I'm going to set my draw size down just a little bit. The draw size will determine how thick the curve part will be when it's drawn out on the mesh. And then I'm going to come across one of these curves here and click. And you'll see it has now populated all those curves on the model with that IMM curve part. So if I turn off my polyframes here, you can see this is the result I'm getting. And you can do this with any IMM curve brush. So if I undo this here, let's say I go and select these boot eyelets, come across that curve again and click. And now it's going to apply that to every single one of those curves. So this is going to give you a lot of functionality of using the fiber mesh to generate a path for all those curves. And then you can now generate a curve from that and then populate it with the IMM curve brush. Now after I'm happy with this, I can delete my strokes. So I can come back up to the stroke palette up here, and go to that curve function area again, and click delete, able to remove all those curves. I also want to clear the mask that was applied, so I'm going to hold down control and drag off the model. And then I want to hide all of those plain 3D dummy objects. I'm going to hold down control shift again to get that select rectangle brush. I'm going to make sure I click on one of the vertices of one of those plain objects, and that will select it, and then I can click it again to hide it. And so now I should only be viewing the IMM curve parts. I can now go to the tool palette again, go back down to the geometry area, go to modify topology, and click delete hidden. And now I will only have a subtool that consists of those IMM parts. So that is the quick rundown on how you can use fiber mesh along with a dummy micro mesh object and go through and take your model and apply MicroMesh to every single one of the fibers. Then using the Geometry Convert BPR to Geo option, you can convert those fibers to geometry, then use the Stroke Palette with Frame Mesh and the Polygroups option to generate a curve along each of the individual fibers, and then you can apply a IMM Curve Brush to those curves. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter.
Happy ZBrushing.